Hello Hattrickers, welcome to the 53rd episode of Let's Play Hattrick with San Marino in Inter Calvajo. So this week I cannot show you the youth pool because I accidentally recorded this already without sound on, but I'll show you Roberto Trastulli. He's a powerful uh, youngster, he's 15 years and 91 days, he's got a potential of passable scoring and then he is poor in playmaking already. That means that we will be able to line him up along with Pino Maletti in the middle of the park here and uh, hopefully we can uh, see some nice potential um, in playmaking. We did reach a solid scoring for Roberto Motorella but for now we will try to see how much we can push Meletti because he's the one that the under 21 scouts in San Marino are actually looking closer at. So uh, yeah let's send the orders make sure we have the right players in the lineup and we'll also make sure to play Trastuli in midfield during the friendly which we can arrange this coming Sunday. All right, we also played a match against Ubefoss, a newly started team in Belgium. Welcome to Ubefoss's manager as well. Um, and we did have a good game without any injuries or any cards. Unfortunately, no extra training, but we don't really utilize that at the moment. Francione scoring from a winger event caused by Daniel Ruling in, in that match. But um, luckily, no injuries, no cards, and hopefully that's a continuing trend against Charles Lanche in this weekend's league match. That will be uh, nice to see if we can uh, get revenge from the defeat last week. It's time to take a look at the Sunday match against Charles Lanche, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't quite have enough to match Charles Lancia in, in this contest. It was definitely closer than in the first match, but unfortunately we didn't quite meet the standards in the middle of the park and that meant that we didn't get enough chances uh, to score against Charles Lancia. We would have had a good chance with a better midfield, but unfortunately this time around uh, we still need just a little bit more in the midfield in order to compete here, but uh, you can't win them all. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the league and uh, let's uh, face the fact that we are fairly behind the two leading teams and uh, they'll probably play out a final when they play each other in order to see who wins the division. We are five points ahead of the unknowns managed by Stingenhoi, my Danish league colleague as well. So it's looking solid and finishing third in this uh, league this season is still an all right uh, projection at this point. Let's just take a look when we can actually see the deciding match between the two top teams. Let's look ahead so you'll see that they will be playing in uh, the final round actually I should have remembered that but yeah I remember now that they started out the season against each other and uh, uh, that's also the round where we play the unknown so now we'll be playing a lot of bot teams leading up to uh, the match against Berlin United then we will have to play the most important match of the season from this perspective now because that's the match where we can definitely secure uh, a third position in the league which will be quite nice so I'm here recording this on a Tuesday stay rather late compared to what I usually do. That means that we can also take a look at the training from this youth match we played against Young Boys Dynamo. And if we look at the star ratings, which is what we find most interesting here, you can see that we had Pino Maletti, Motorella and Nicola Mengi doing quite well. Looking at the training, you'll notice that Pino Maletti responded well to passing and is now inadequate. We are really hoping to see what kind of level he has the playmaking really. Looking Looking at uh, the enhanced player page from Hattrick Youth Club, we can see that he's supposed to be 4.4 in playmaking, but that's because we haven't heard of an actual pop in playmaking, only the, the current skill reveal from the trainer, so he could potentially be inadequate in the next match already. If he's at that level, we should definitely be able to reach the triple passable goal for Pino Maletti. Again, we also have Mozzarella. He hasn't found his max in, in scoring yet. We'll see if we get to play with that later in, in the process, really. I don't really think so we can do a lot there. Another interesting player here will definitely be Nicola Mengi with a passable passing and inadequate scoring, but perhaps it's not enough to be really interesting. And if we look at Trastuli, the youth bull, we did play him in the middle of the park, I think. Oh, we forgot to play him. That's uh, actually a bummer. So that's a bit of a mistake. Luckily, he has 130 days to play before he can be promoted. So uh, we still have time to check this guy out, luckily. 
that's all I got this week. Hopefully you have a great weekend hat trick. And uh, if you enjoyed the live streaming, we'll soon be visiting the trading adventure with the Verbreiken Zoo. And uh, I have to be honest, in the first uh, week's training, we didn't do all that well. We didn't actually have a single pop. So I'll reel that much. Um, hopefully we'll have a very nice training on Friday. And we'll be looking to see what kind of profits we can do once we hopefully get to sell some of the first skill trades. But um, until then, I'll see you guys. Take care.